Hi there, I'm Math Mom, and today we're going to talk about whole numbers and decimals. Normally, when we write a whole number, we don't include the decimal or the zero. We just write the number. Let's see, we can do even bigger numbers like that. And we don't normally write the decimal and the zero at the end. Now for whole numbers, we know that the first position is for the ones. And then the next one over is for the tens, hundreds, yeah, and the thousands. When we look at the whole numbers on the the way they're listed, we've got the positions for the ones, tens, hundreds, blah, blah, blah. And when we write a number line, a number line is usually written with just whole numbers. But what about here, between the whole numbers? Are there any numbers in there? Yes. yes. Oh, good. And we represent those numbers with a decimal. Now, if we have our whole number and a decimal here, this first position is called tenths. And that means if we have a pie in our little pie plate, and it is divided into ten pieces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That worked out well. We need all 10 pieces to make our whole pie. For tenths, we need all 10 together to make one whole number. So for example, if we look at the number line, between 3 and 4, and it is divided into 10 equal parts, we need all 10 pieces to make up the one whole number from 3 up to 4. And we write that like this. We've got our whole number of 3, which we would normally just write like that, and we're showing one decimal position so that means that we're going to be taking 10 little steps to get from 3 up to 4. So we would write 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10 decimal places. The first one is the tenths, and the second one is for the hundreds. Yeah, yeah, good. Hundreds. Okay. This, the two decimals means that the distance between the whole numbers on the number line has, divide, has been divided into 100 equal steps. So if we had a little ant and we put it on the whole number of two and we have the little ant take 100 steps along the number line to reach number three, the whole number of three, those decimals, every single part, every single step on the number line, it's a number. The little ant would start at 2, and the next step would be 2 point what? 1. Oh, 10. <sighs> Zero 01. Oh. Because this is a hundreds, and we're going to have like 100 steps to get from 2 to 3. And then it would be 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.02, 2.
2.03 because we, we're going to have to count all the way up to 2.98, 2.99, and what would our little, our next little step be? Three zero zero. That's right, on her whole number of three zero zero, three point zero zero. So our, if the number line has been divided into 100 equal steps between the whole number of two and three, we show that by using two decimal positions. Okay. Now, what about a number that looks like that? It's a number. Does it have a position on the number line? Yes. Oh yeah, it does. And look at all these decimals that we have here. That means that the number line between 5 and 6 has been divided into many, 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 many little pieces. But we can still find the location of this number on the number line. Now 5.97 is going to be very, very close to 6. Maybe even closer than that. Let's move it over. We're going to be almost, almost, almost at the whole number of 6. And that position of the number line is going to be 5.9762314767. Okay. So for today, we talked about whole numbers and decimals to show that any number at all has a position on the number line. Of course, decimals are taught in the Ontario curriculum, but in a manner that's a little bit confusing. And when my boys came back to decimals um, at a later date, they would completely forgotten um, what they were, what they meant, and how to, how to add and subtract decimals. So when I was growing up, everything was linked to the number line, and I used this method to teach decimals to my boys and carry forward from there. Thank you so much for watching, and come back to see more videos. Thank you.